Lord, Mount Prospect. Well, praise the Lord, Mount Prospect. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. We're here going to celebrate our music ministry here at Mount Prospect on this morning. So we want you to just join in and help us lift up the name of Jesus. We're going to sing this song the old way. And then we're going to sing it the new way. Well, I thank you, thank you, Jesus, for my journey. the day that the Lord has made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The psalmist says, oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. We invite those of you in the building and those who are watching through social media that you rejoice with us as we uplift our Lord and our Savior.
let the church now say amen. amen. Now let the church say amen. 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 Go with me now to this piece of scripture. 1 Corinthians <laughs> chapter 11. 1 Corinthians 11 and 23. For I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself and discerning the Lord's body, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. If any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order. May God add a blessing to the readers, doers, hearers, but most of all, the appliers of his almighty word. Again, good morning, Mount Prospect. Good morning. I can't hear you. Good morning. Come on, this is the day that the Lord has made. Anybody want to rejoice with us? Yeah. Come on, anybody want to rejoice with us? Has the Lord been good to you? Amen. Amen. At this time, uh, you may have seen and heard that today we're celebrating our choir, our music ministry here at Mount Prospect to Pastor Potts and other ministers. Um, normally, we would have our choir anniversary on the Saturday before the third Sunday in May. Uh, but due to the pandemic for the last two years, we uh, haven't been able to, to do that. So a few weeks ago, I thought, well, how about if we do something on Sunday morning where we have all our church family here with us. So on the, today, as you see, we're in our, back in our choir robes today, and uh, uh, we just want to celebrate uh, our choir, our music ministry. Come on, can we put our hands together for our music ministry? Mount Prospect Baptist Church has such a rich church music history. It begins with Dr. Thomas A. Dorsey, father of gospel music. He attended Mount Prospect uh, as, a, as a young boy, and it said that his mother was a church musician here at Mount Prospect. Uh, the years go by, according to the church history, one of the first choirs was organized in 1942 with Miss Jessie Henry serving as the Joan Church pianist. Years go on, years go on, many pianists and musicians come through, in 1970, choir number two was organized with Mr. Charles George serving as pianist. And today, members of choir number two are still singing praises unto the Lord. And if you, if you look that up, that's over 50 years that they have been singing and singing praise. Come on, play, let's praise God for them. Again, years go by. Around 1986, Mr. Charlie Stiles Jr. became music director here at Mount Prospect. And under his leadership, and under the leadership of Pastor Potts, the senior choir and choir number two combined and became the Sanctuary Choir. 
Years later, and, and later on that time, he organized the male chorus, the children's choir, and the young adult choir, which became the inspirational choir. And before he passed away in 1994, he was instrumental in organizing the Thomas Dorsey Birthplace Choir. Uh, today we celebrate some of the musicians. Mr. Clarence McCoy, he served Mount Prospect for many years. Let's praise God for him. Our own sister Carol Stiles, she served as pianist for the Sanctuary Choir and the Children's Choir for many years. And uh, before the pandemic, we had the uh, voices of Mount Prospect. They had uh, combined the Sanctuary Choir and the uh, Inspirational Choir. And then we had our praise teams, the Spirit of Praise, and the Male Praise Team, and Beyond the Walls. Uh, but since the pandemic, um, we had not able to have all those people in the choir stand at one time. And so now we have the Mount Prospect Voices, the Spirit of Praise, and the Praise Team that uh, worships and lead us in worship each Sunday morning now. Come on, let's praise God for that. And I would just like to say a special thank you to the members of Spirit of Praise for your dedication and sacrifice over the last two years of coming together uh, during the middle of the pandemic. I want you to know we thank you and we appreciate you uh, for, uh, for your sacrifice. We got uh, two more songs we're gonna do. The next song says, uh, anybody been kept by the Lord? Uh, Deacon McCain, he had, was uh, scheduled to sing this. I'm gonna try to do a little something with it just to kind of get through it because we rehearsed it. Uh, but it says, he's kept me. And Deacon McCain was in a accident over the weekend and I believe this would be, his, over the week, I'm sorry. And this would be his testimony that God kept him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Again, just put your hands together for our choir. Yeah. 
myself, all my failures, my shortcomings, and all my flaws. But you, you still love me. You saw fit to forgive me. I saw I could take care of myself, but I found out that I needed you. If it had not been for you, Lord, I don't know where I would be right now. There have been many times I didn't have money. My finances were all messed up. But you, 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 you made a way out of no way. But you, you stood right by my side, and you've always been my guide. When I went down the wrong road, you kept me. I messed up real bad, but you kept me. You didn't let me go. You kept me. I wonder if there's anybody out there that knows that the Lord has kept you. Are you glad about it? That he kept you? Can you wave your hand and give God praise? Can you wave your hand and give him glory? I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I'm truly grateful.
Say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, you You're just so good too. Thank you, Lord. In spite of us. Yes. In spite of ourselves. In spite of our attitude. In spite of us jumping one moment and limping the next. Oh God, we thank you. Now, oh God, do what you do best. Yes. Have your will. Yes. In your way. Have your way, Lord. Lord, I prepared the words I believe you've given me. But, oh God, unless you preach, That's right. there won't be any preaching. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, fall fresh yes. on us. Hello. Holy Every Spirit, way, fall fresh on us. Mm. In the magnificent name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Mm. Amen. 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 The book of Job, chapter 35, verses 9, 10, and 11. Job, chapter 35. Good to see all of you. And, uh, and I'm glad I can see y'all seeing me. Job, chapter 35. 
verses 9 through 11. Because of the multitude of oppressions, mm -hmm. they cry out. They cry out for help because of the arm of the mighty. Mm -hmm. But no one says, where is my maker who gives songs in the night? Who teaches us, who teaches us more than the beasts of the earth? and makes us wiser than the birds of heaven. Amen. For just a few moments, we'll talk about songs in the night. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Songs All right. in the night. Elihu, being very much puzzled as he looks at Job in his affliction, tries to give reasons, although it did not happen to be the right one in Job's case. He said within himself, surely if men be troubled, it is because while they think about their troubles and distress themselves about their fears, they do not say, where is God, my maker, who gives songs in the night. Many men are terribly tormented because they focus on their troubles, their distress, and their fears. They look within themselves to escape their troubles. They forget to look to the hills, from hence all real help comes. They do not say, where is God my maker? who gives songs in the night. The world has its night. The sun shines by day and men go forth to their daily occupations. They grow weary and night fall comes on. Night is one of the greatest blessings men enjoy. We have many reasons to thank God for it. Amen. Yet, night is to many a gloomy season. Mm -hmm. Night is a season of fear and doubt for men. We face nights of all kinds, which press upon our spirits and terrify our souls. Nights of sorrow, nights of persecution, nights of doubt, nights of confusion, nights of worry, nights of oppression, nights of ignorance. Night is the time when it seems that those who are sick get sicker. Night is the time when it seems that death does its dirtiest deeds. Night is the time when it seems that our fears are at their highest. Night when fears know new levels. Night when our depression deepens. Night when our destiny is uncertain and our future is unsure. Night is when you're trying to do the right thing and everything turns out wrong. Night when you're trying to do your best and you get the worst in return. When you tell somebody, if you are a child of God, you don't have to make the night come. You don't have to look for it. Just live. Night is coming. It's a part of life because John 16, chapter verse 33 says, Jesus says, in this world, you will have tribulation. Didn't say you might. Didn't say it could. It says get ready for it will come. We are living in a social night when the meaning of poverty is being redefined every day. There's a time if you made $10,000 a year, you were somebody. Now if you make $10,000 a year, it's shame on you. It's night. We're living in a moral night 
a night which has seen the line uh, between right and wrong erased. A moral night, a night which says marriage is a thing of the past and home is where your hat is. A moral night. A night which says that the end of life is to get high by any and every means available. A moral night, a, not, a night when traditional values are gone. Uh, children are telling their parents what to yeah. do and parents are afraid of the children yeah. they feed and clothe. Don't look now, but it's night. Some of us are involved in personal nights. Some of us may be afflicted by what one philosopher, Serene Kierkegaard, tell, calls the sickness unto death. Somebody here has some sickness in the house. Somebody here went to the doctor and the news was not good news. Somebody here has a secret you haven't told anybody because it's night. For it is true that man is like the world around him. He resembles the world in almost everything. And if the world has its night, so has man. All right. There are nights of all kinds that press upon our spirits and frighten our souls. But thanks be to God. Uh, the believer can say, my God gives me songs in the night. Yes. Yes. Anybody can sing when it's day. Anybody can sing when things are going well. When the cup is full, man, man draws inspiration uh, from it. Uh, when, when wealth rolls in abundance around him, any man can sing to the praise of God who gives an abundant harvest. Anybody can sing when you have good health. Anybody can sing when all your bills are paid. Anybody can sing when your children are doing well. Anybody can sing when your family matters are in line. Oh yeah, it's easy to sing when you can read the notes by daylight. But the skillful singer is who can sing when there's not a ray of light to read by. One who sings from his heart. No one can make a song in the night by themselves. Mm. Or you're usually in the night of a believer's experience. God is his only song. Mm. If it's daylight in your heart, you can sing songs. But let the night come and graces appear to have withered away. Right. You cannot read your title clear well. to mansions in the skies. Mm. And now you have nothing left to sing of but God. Right. It's strange, it's strange that when God gives his children blessings, they generally set their hearts more on the blessing than on the giver of the blessing. But when night comes and he sweeps all the mercies away, then at once they say, now my God, I have nothing to sing of but you. I must come to you and to you alone. Mm. Or we can sing high praises to ourselves when all is joyful. Oh, yeah. But we cannot sing praise to our God when circumstances are, are coming at us head on and burdens appear to be more than we can bear. Mm. God alone can furnish us with songs in the night. Right. Oh, my brothers and sisters, you don't, you don't need to Go pumping up your heart to make it glad. Mm. Go to your maker and ask him to give you a song in the night. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, 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 are poor, you are a poor dry well. You have heard it said that when a water pump is dry, mm. not talking about the, more, the electrical kind, talking about the, with the handle, yeah, yeah. When, you, when your pump runs dry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when, you, when your water pump is dry, you have to prime it. Yeah, you, you prime it by pouring water down in it first. And then wh while you're pumping and pouring the water, yeah, water will come up. When you're dry, go to God. Yeah. Ask him to pour some joy down in you. Yeah. 
then you will get some joy from your own heart. Yeah, go to your maker, for he is the great composer of songs and a teacher of music. It is he who can teach us how to sing. God, my maker, who gives me songs in the night. Well, what do we sing about? I believe when we sing at night, there are three things we can sing about. Either we can sing about the yesterday that is over, or about the night itself, or about tomorrow that is to come. Or in the midst of the night, the most usual thing for believers to sing about uh, is about the day that is over. They say that the night is now, but you can remember when you saw the sun. You have no evidence just now, but there was a time when you could say, I know that my Redeemer lives. Yes. If you're honest with yourselves, every now and then we have our doubts and our fears. Oh, but it's not long since we could say with full assurance, I know that he shed his blood for me. I know that my Redeemer lives. And when he shall stand a second time upon the earth, for the worms devour this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. It may be darkness now, but I know the promises are sweet. Perhaps the best song you can sing to cheer you in the night is the song of yesterday. Remember, it was not always night with you once you had a glad heart, a joy for spirit. Once your eye was full of life, once your feet were light, well, then remember uh, that God who made you sing yesterday has not left you in the night. He is a day like God. Let me tell some of, of the sweet things of which you may make a song when you're in the night. If you're going to sing of the things of yesterday, let us begin with what God did for us in past times. Think of the yesterday. Oh yeah, and you will get a song in the night. Oh, I tell you, every time when you're going through a storm, every now and then you ought to look back and see where the Lord has brought you from. When I look back and see where the Lord has brought me, it gives me inspiration to press on because if God brought me then, He'll do it again. Oh, let me suggest some blessings you may sing of. And they are the blessings you have experienced. Can't you sing of that blessed hour when Jesus met you? But you can testify, I came to Jesus as I was. I was weary, worn, and sad. And I found in him a resting place. Yes, yes. And he has made me glad. Can't you sing of that moment when he snapped the fetters, dashed the breakers, and set you free? Why then are you so gloomy? Why are you walking around with your head hung down? Why are you dragging as if there's no life in you? Oh, Lord, I, I, I remember the note singing the singing song. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens from my soul were rolled away. It made me happy, glad, and free. I sing it, shout it, for he's everything to me. Go back and sing of that moment. You will have a song in the night. One of the tricks of Satan is to make you forget about what the Lord did for you on last night. Matter of fact, he wants you to forget about what he did early this morning. 
Matter of fact, when you got there, he wanted to throw some distractions at you uh, to keep your focus off of God. Oh, but I come by, he's a liar because I got my eyes fixed on the Lord. And if you've almost forgotten, then surely you have some precious milestones along the road of life that's not quite grown over with moss on which you can read some happy inscriptions of his mercy towards you. Go to the river of your experience. Pull up a few bulrushes and weave them into an ark where your infant faith may float safely on the stream. I charge you not to forget what God has done when the entire world has gone to rest. Yeah. We can sing in the night yeah. of the blessings of yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's never so dark a night, but there's something to sing about, uh-huh. even concerning the night. For there is one thing I am sure, and that is that the Lord mercies that, that we are not consumed, and because his compassion faileth not, mm-hmm. you have no right to grumble. You have no right to complain. Oh yeah, you do have a right to try to get more. You have a right to press forward. I I come by to tell you, don't complain and don't grumble, but don't be satisfied with where you are. You're in the dark, but your night might have been dark. One of the downfalls of the black church. Not, not only here. Our problem is we become too satisfied. Satisfied. Want to roll along like we did when we had choir number one. No, no, no. We got to be pressing forward. When the Lord bless us, we want to be letting him bless us some more. But you can't be blessed if you're, if you're holding on. You're in the dark. But you, your night might have been dark. I'm poor, but I could have been poor. Therefore, you always have one thing to sing about. That is, Lord, I thank you. It's not all darkness. Regardless of how dark it is, there's always a star. No matter how dark it is, there's always a glimmer of hope. No matter how dark it is, you can see light peeping through the clouds. Uh, but there's nothing of which we can sing. And that is, we can sing of the day that is to come. Right. If you are in a night, think of tomorrow. Yeah. Cheer up your heart with the thought of the coming of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, be patient uh, for just a little while longer. Soon you and I will be done with the troubles of this world. Night songs are our strength. We ought to be able to sing night songs. Night songs of praise help us gain some peace. Night songs of praise help us to feel his everlasting love. Night songs of praise help us to know the Lord. Night songs of praise help us rest and renew our minds through God. Night songs of praise help us to appreciate the blessings and gifts we have from God. 
night songs of praise help us to have a greater hope in our God who's able to keep over us overcoming from discouragement. Night songs of praise help us to gain a great awareness of just how good God is. I don't know about you, but there are times I'm speechless. I don't have the words to tell the Lord how grateful I am for his blessings. And I I don't know why it just seems like thank you ain't enough. I know it ain't right, but it ain't fits my case. It just seems like thank you. It just seems like I ought to be able to say more than thank you. But I come back to you. It'll work if you tell the law thank you. I tell you, if you learn how to praise God in the night. He will, oh, he will send you deliverance if you learn how to praise the Lord in a song at night. He will, oh, he will send healing if you learn how to praise the Lord in a song at night. He will, oh, he will send you a miracle. Yeah, there's nothing uh, that will happen today that you and the Lord can handle. I need to say that again because there's some of you sitting here right now, some of you watching me through social media, you're already worrying about tomorrow and the Lord wants you to recognize him right now. Granted, you got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, Tuesday or Wednesday, but the Lord wants you to recognize him right now. I got a feeling if I recognize him, if I praise him right now, when I get to my appointment, when I get there, it may already, already, oh, already taking care. Song in the night reminds me of the sacrifice made on Cabris Hill for you and me. Uh, the most powerful song that was ever sung was heard from that cross. That cross produced a crown and a symbol for life over life. One Friday, it was night. One Friday, when they hung him high, dropped him low, he died. It was night, but because of early, because of early Sunday morning, yeah, because of early Sunday morning, God gave me a song in the night. Yes, he did. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. He gave me a song. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. He gave me a song. He's working things together for my good. He gave me a song. The Lord keeps on making a way for me. He keeps on opening doors for me. The Lord gave me a song. The Lord provides for me. He protects me. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us Make a joyful noise. Let us make a joyful noise. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mind. I come by to tell you. 
got to get your song. Your song may not be my song. My song may not be your song. But well, you ought to get your song. But you don't mind. If I tell you what my song is, can I tell you what my song is? My song is the Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. I know I'm right. Early this morning, he woke me up. The Lord is blessing me right now. Not only did he wake me up, but he got me up. Yes, he did. In my rolling. See, some of y'all just jump up. But when I get up, when I roll out of bed, it was nobody. The Lord, he's blessing me. When he woke me up, I was in my right mind. The Lord is blessing me. Yes, sir. When I woke up, roof over my head, clothes put on. The law is blessing me. I don't know what your song is, but all you need to find you a song from the Lord that'll keep you pressing on. Yeah. Yeah. Find your song. But you can't beat the Lord's blessings. No matter, isn't it strange? No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, if you just pause and take a breath, sometimes you gotta wipe the tear. All right. Just pause. You too can testify. The Lord is blessing yes, he is. I've shared with you the fact that in our younger days, we could run up the steps and oh, skip yeah. too. Yeah. Just because I need some help coming in don't mean that he's not blessing That's right. That's right. I find myself going to the doctor more than I've been going before because I've never been this age before either, but he's still blessing. The fact that you can go, that's a blessing. The fact, yeah, yeah, that, that you realize you're on your way to see the doctor. The Lord is blessing you. I come by to tell you, no matter how dark the night, the Lord got this thing worked out. The Lord will see you through. Lord has some witnesses. Won't the Lord see you through? Had the Lord given anybody here a song in the night? When you're giving up all hope, but you started singing, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world cannot take it away. So, in the night, so, don't let Satan steal your joy. Don't let Satan calls you to have amnesia when it comes to the goodness of the Lord. But I find myself like old man Joe. You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. Not only do I know him, I can testify of what he's done and what he's doing in my life. Amen. Amen. Find your son. Find you something to hang on to. But listen yeah. now. It's the Lord who will give you a song. Yes, when you start counting your blessings, uh-huh. that's a song. When, when you're grateful for what he's doing, that's a song. When you're excited about what he's getting ready to do, that's a song. So you just think on the goodness of the Lord. Yes, yes. And he'll give you a song. Say it on you. If you're going through this pandemic now for more than two years, 
And you the same old, same old you were before this pandemic. Shame on you. Pity on you. You miss an awesome responsibility to get closer to the Lord. Closer to the Lord. See, before the pandemic, you should have been, you, you probably been worrying about what folks say. After this pandemic, your eyes ought to be on the Lord. You don't care what folks talk about. Yeah. Folks can't, 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 folks ain't paying your bills. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you folks don't have a heaven or a hell. And that's another indictment against the church. Too many come for other folks. Too many are lead because of other folks. If the Lord sent you here, you stay here. But don't come for the wrong reason now. Don't come for me. Don't come for the choir or anybody. You come because the Lord has sent you here. The Lord has sent you because that, that there's something you have to offer. Come on. Yeah, you got, folks ain't been talking about you. So what, 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 what is it now? They've been doing it. And they can always be doing it. But you can't worry about what folks say. Because when it comes time to stand before God Almighty, yeah. You can't be looking for the Lord. Uh, they say that you what? <laughs> you. It's on you. He gave you a mind to think for yourself. You. 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 Praise your name, Jesus. Don't listen. Listen to this. When I come on Sunday mornings, the number two thing is to preach to you. That's number two. I come to worship. I come to worship. Amen. I, I, I come to worship. Because when I'm preaching, when I'm preaching, I'm preaching to me first. Or I'm preaching to me as well. I come to worship. I come to worship. God bless you. God bless you. Find your song. That that give you a peace that passes all understanding. That, 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 that will give you joy in the midst of your storms. And Satan is going to be disappointed because he used to yank your chain and you act a fool. But he's yanking and ain't nothing happening. He can't handle that. Let him yank on. You keep your hands in the Lord's hands. Keep your eyes on him and watch. He'll keep you. I know he will. Yes, he will. Because he's done it before. Yes, He's a keeper. Yes, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. God bless you. God bless you. Maybe there's somebody here on uh, the sound of my voice who has never accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. If that be the case, we invite you to come as the Holy Spirit leads you. Come as a candidate for baptism by ladder in all Christian experience. Those of you who are on social media have the same option, just contact, uh, contact us by text or email and we will respond as well. But we invite you to come as the Holy Spirit leads you. Come now, if you will.
Amen. 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 Don't let the devil make you forget that the Lord is blessing you. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Don't know about the next year. Right now. Don't know about tomorrow. But not, don't know about the next hour from now. For right. Oh, bless his name. Amen. Amen. That'll preach. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good to have our visitors with us. And I'll say more about that in a minute. But good to have all of you who are worshiping with us and in the building and uh, through social media. Let's prepare now for our, our tithes and offerings. Uh, time now to make offertory appeal. You can give through by Givelify. Or here you can give uh, in the vestibule there. Those of you who are in the building, others, if you need be, you can uh, put in the postal service, uh, send, put in the mail, and we will get it as well. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are getting ready to do. Amen. Last few weeks we've been talking about uh, the House Representative District 64, where last year it was restructured. Uh, to include um, uh, Paulding County, really the southern part of Paulding County, uh, West Douglas County, uh, in this, yeah, in West. and so we have Miss Mignon Willis. Will you just stand so we can see you who is running Amen. for that position? And uh, you want to remember, yeah. remember her. Uh, if you haven't voted, Tuesday is the day. Those of you uh, who are eligible, I believe starting at 65, you can request your mailing ballots. Is, is that the right word? Absentee. Absentee ballot. Thank you. So hopefully you've already done that. And remember that. And that's why it's very important for you to help those who may be convalescent, work with them so they can vote as well. I wonder how many votes we missed in the convalescent centers because nobody right. thought to get them to uh, apply for an absentee ballot. And there's a part that you can even assist them. All you do is, uh, all you do is sign that you assisted them or whatever. So we, we need to remember that. But this Tuesday is, as I mentioned earlier, all elections are important. Yeah. We have a tendency to only vote every four years when it's a presidential mm -hmm. election, but all because it is, it's concerning yeah. us. You don't have a right to holler on justice if you've not voted. When you vote, you got a voice. If you don't vote, you ain't got nothing to say. And those are the ones who make the loudest noise. But vote and encourage others to vote. So it'd be good to have Ms. Willis with us and uh, wanted, her, uh, wanted to share that with you. Amen? Let's prepare now for our communion. in prayer. Precious Lord, we take this time, we take this very moment mm. to tell you thank you. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says to consider this. The Bible tells us to remember this as often but it's more than that if it wasn't for you 
making the sacrifice, where would we be? So we ask you now to bless the table where the elements were. We ask you now to bless the people who pause their lives to tell you that we remember. Thank you, dear God, for your love. Thank you, dear God, for providing a sacrificial lamb that brought us back to you. Thank you, dear God, for making a way out of no way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. On the night, excuse me, on the night in which our Lord was betrayed, he took bread and blessed it and break it. <clears throat> Gave to his disciples saying, take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After they had supper, he took the cup and after giving thanks to it, he said, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. I give this elements to you. Eat ye, drink ye all of it. that it may be spiritual food for your spiritual bodies. We're told that after they had supped, they went out into the Mount of Olives. You and I, we're not going out into our Mount of Olives, but we are going out to face our tomorrows and the rest of this day. But one thing for sure, that we can leave this place with a song on our lips and love in our hearts. God bless you. Yeah.